Today at thepit.com, we look to answer another common question among sports car collectors. Should I be collecting the BGS9, the car graded by Beckett Grading Services, or should I be collecting the PSA9? So, this card in particular, uh, the Peyton Manning 1998 Topps Chrome, has been a really hot card lately. So Peyton Manning, uh, pretty much a shoe-in for the 2021 uh, Football Hall of Fame, you know, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Some people would actually argue that uh, he might have actually been a better quarterback overall than Brady. Of course, Brady has played uh, now played a little bit longer than Manning. And of course, Brady also has all of those Super Bowl rings, whereas Manning only has two. So, um, so Manning, I think, has been overshadowed by Brady's accomplishments. But recently, his cards have definitely taken um, a huge jump in price. So the reason that we're bringing up the BGS9 is we actually sold a copy of this on the pitch just last night for $269. It's now listed for about $300. So, um, so this card, we're going to take a look at the history, the sales history of this card. So this is a Beckett 9. As you can see, uh, so this is not a card that sells very often, but you can see right here back in December of 2019, so just six months ago, um, we're making this video on June 3rd, so just a couple, uh, just six months ago, this card, uh, you could buy this card for $59, and then in uh, February, you could buy it for $66. Um, and then in March, uh, it you could see that it uh, was sold for $80 to the pit. So, you know, this is a card that within the space of three months went from about 60 to 80, you know, pretty decent, uh, a pretty decent uh, gain. But then uh, we had a sale for $269 uh, just yesterday. So, so in the span of just three months, uh, this card went from an $80 card to a $270 card. And now it's pushing $300. Uh, so obviously that's quite a rise. If we take a look at the PSA 9, take a look at the sales history, you'll notice uh, sort of a similar pattern. So uh, the PSA 9 has held a little bit higher of a price tag, uh, but you can see in December, uh, one was sold to the pit for $66. Another one was sold a couple days later for $76. A couple days later, uh, just after Christmas, another one was sold for $79. Uh, and then in January, we started seeing uh, more people buying this card. So January, uh, we got we also had one sold to us for 77, but then uh, we also had another one buy for 86 in February. So as you can see, this card very quickly went from you know a $66 card to an $86 card. And then in the beginning of March, when the market really began to take off, uh, we had, we saw a sale for $105, and then. Uh, just later that month, we had another sale for $100. Then in April, uh, you know, just not long after the $100 sale, we had a $139 sale, and then $189 sale, and then uh, just last month we had a sale for $333. This card is now up over $400 in market value. So, as you can see, a very similar trajectory. However, the PSA 9 has enjoyed a higher price tag overall, and it's a little bit more popular in sales. So, let's take a look at the population report. So, PSA has 5,400 of these graded with 3,569 nines and 1,165 tens. So for the most part, this card uh, grades pretty consistently in a nine um, and you know about one out of, a little less than one out of four grade a 10. So obviously the 10 is the more uh, sought after grade. But as we've been seeing in the market lately, uh, the nines have definitely been gaining a lot of traction in the market since they are cheaper uh, and and as we've seen you know nines are actually starting to follow similar similar rises to the PSA 10s while the PSA 10 might rise more quickly dollar wise and percentage wise um, the nines have definitely been been catching up and we take a look at uh, Beckett's population report you'll see that there's actually only 3140 of these graded by Beckett uh, with 1150 tens and 589.5 so 9.5 is uh, Beckett's gem mint grade so it's essentially equivalent to a PSA 10 uh, whereas their 10 is seen as a pristine grade so it's a little bit more than a uh, PSA 10 so um, as you can see they just they don't really grade this card um, they actually grade this card a little bit more harshly than PSA um, you know their nines 
you know, are about one in three, whereas uh, you're looking more at two and three in in PSA. So they're a little bit, they're a little actually. So Beckett's actually harsher on this card. Uh, then, and you can see they're nine five grade. They're actually a lot harsher on this card, so they're actually a little bit. Um, so as I said, they're rarer and they're also a lot harder on these cards. Um, so that's kind of an interesting, an interesting thing. But what what's happened over the years is because PSA has been holding a higher market value overall. Uh, PSA is the more popular, um, popular grader. Uh, when it comes to resale value, uh, people continue to pay a premium for a PSA 9 over a BGS 9. The other thing is, is that what people will do is they will buy uh, BGS 9 cards with high subgrades, uh, you know, with 9.5 subgrades, and try to cross them over to uh, to PSA. And the thing is, is that even if you get a BGS 9 to cross over to a PSA 9, uh, you're already making a significant profit. I mean, say this card is $300 and the other card is $400. I mean, that's a you know, 33% gain in value right there, well worth a grading fee. Um, but it, from from what I've been told in, in my sources, I've never actually tried to cross a card um, between Beckett or PSA or, or the other way around. But uh, what I've heard is, is that people have said that uh, many, P, uh, many BGS 9s have actually come back as 8s or 8.5s from from PSA. PSA does not have a 9.5 grade, but they do have an 8.5 grade. Uh, so it's a very big distinction between uh, PSA and, B and BGS. That's actually part of the reason why BGS sometimes uh, you will see um, a lot of people uh, take PSA 9s and submit them to Beckett for the 9.5. So the BGS 9.5 is typically worth more than a PSA 9. Um, but a BGS 9 is consistently less than a PSA 9. So the, so the question is then, so the BGS 9 is actually a rarer card, and you could argue that uh, the BGS 9, just from terms of, in terms of how they've graded them over time versus how PSA has graded them, you could say that the PSA 9 is not as strong a 9 as the BGS 9. So there is that, if you if you take it from that perspective, um, you could actually say that the BGS 9 is a better value than the PSA 9. Uh, but I think many collectors will argue that the PSA 9 is a stronger card, uh, you know, a stronger holder. You know, there's all, you always come back to, you know, buying the card, not the holder. And if you really think that this card you know, the, your, your particular BGS-9 is a better example of a card than the PSA-9, then by all means, um, you know, you buy the BGS-9. But, um, of course, we all know that the PSA holds, uh, you know, is really, you know, is the premier name in 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 grading, which which makes sense. I mean, PSA was, you know, the first major giant in, in, in the game, so that does make a lot of sense. Um, but... You know, I'm curious to hear your thoughts when it comes to BGS nine versus PSI nine. I know that um, when I've asked people about it before, um, they would say they would take the the PSA nine, uh, right? You know, without a thought. Um, but when you look at the pop reports and you look at how much more harshly uh, Beckett grades this card, I think it's fair. You know, if you're if you're looking to, especially you know when you're collecting a guy like Peyton Manning, um, you know. That, that's a hundred dollar difference between a PSA 9 and a BGS 9. So, um, and, and we'll definitely be doing other videos on, you know, comparing the BGS 9.5 to the PSA 10. And that's always a very interesting thing to look at. Um, but, I mean, it all comes down to the pop reports. You know, how, how has this card been graded over time um, by these services? You know, these services, um, you know, judging a card less harshly or more harshly. And it does seem that, um, you know, PSA is willing to give more nines to this card than even than even Beckett. Um, Beckett has given quite a few, as you can see, quite a few eight fives uh, to this card. So that's that's actually kind of interesting. Whereas um, on the flip side, there's only a hundred and uh, yeah yeah. So there's there's only one eight point five um, actually. Eight point five is actually a relatively new grade for PSA. PSA doesn't usually give out half grades very often. Um, but as you can see, there's only 588 eights. So, yeah. So PSA is definitely a lot kinder to this card than uh, than BGS. So there is there is you know I think that if you're looking to get a consistent nine, you probably want to send it to PSA uh, for this card. But you know if you're looking to buy this card already graded, it does seem that there's definitely a value for the BGS nine, which is why I think this card um, 
you know, does sell pretty consistently alongside the PSA 9. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Um, you know, as I said, personally, I would say the PSA 9 is the, going to be the one that is a little bit more fluid on the market and probably has, you know, a, a higher a higher price potential. But I think from a percentage basis, I think the BGS 9, especially if, if you get a really strong 9, uh, you know, with, with really good subgrades, I think that that might, you know, it might end up being you know, an equivalent card. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. There's definitely a huge debate in the community about this. Um, and of course, you know, as collectors, we're all looking to get the most value for our money. So I think both of these cards are a great value. Um, you know, I, I, I mean, I think that they're both a great value and it really comes down to your individual feelings about BGS and PSA. So love to hear your thoughts on this debate. And, you know, Peyton Manning is obviously a great investment right now. Definitely a future Hall of Famer. So uh, let us know your thoughts. Let us know what you think is the better card among uh, better, the better grade among these two BGS9 or PSA9. And we'll be back soon with more, uh, more of these videos. Happy collecting.